Guys, I, I, I really promised you I would not try to bring in more drama into my channel, but today I'm actually going to be bringing up probably one of the worst moments I've actually really had within the past few years. <clears throat> this is way different compared to the, most of the issues I've ever had with like the government and stuff like that and stuff this has nothing to do with it this is a serious thing that I've gone through for the past three days I I've been on an, on a, I, I can't even talk I've, I've been wanting to cry most of the day I been going through an, an oh my god emotional roller coaster like legit I've been up here, I've been down here, I've been in the middle, and I've been way above the highest peak. Today, for the first time in forever, I've actually cried my eyes out on one of my friends today. I have really never done something so serious and something so emotional until right now. I I was so tired today. I don't know if you guys can see it in my eyes, but I can't really open them up. I had a rough, rough, rough day, or rough night last night. I was going to say day, but it was actually quite decent. It wasn't crazy. But last night was probably the most tragic moment I've had within the past three months. And... I will say that having that moment in my life, at least within the past three months, wasn't really the smartest thing, including the fact that I've been really emotional with other stuff, especially government, but we're not bringing that up in this video because I've brought it up way too much already. Been going pretty well and pretty smooth with that, but I will say that what happened last night wasn't really that great and affected me physically emotionally and traumatically and I really want to talk about something very serious that happened today so I was going pretty well until I got really tired because I couldn't sleep last night and I ended up passing out on my friend and I'm really hoping my mother sees this. I really do. And if mom, if you are watching and you want to ask questions, please do. I don't mind talking personally with you. I've been having some weird dreams about me and my friend and a few others and stuff like that. That I actually kind of am worried about. But I'm not, like, seriously worried. But I am worried. It's, like, one of those things that I don't care about because it's never going to happen. And the other one is the fact that I don't know what will happen in the future. But my buddy knows what's going on in my head. He knows that I have a opposite gendered brain. So he, he understands that. So... I've been having dreams that I am the opposite sex and I feel like I like him but it's not like that I want to be together but it's just the fact that in the dreams we are but in the real world I don't really feel that way you know and I had a dream while I was passed out on him that my mother walked in the door and she saw me passed out on him and it literally made me freak out to the point where I was crying and trying to grab onto him trying to calm down a little bit and I went and got worse because I ended up having a conversation in my dream with my mother in a whole separate room asking me serious questions and she freaked out and it went completely the other way it was actually worse than I would have ever expected it to go. And, yeah, it 
I've been having those kind of dreams for the longest time. And that's why I ended up creating, instead of it being Rage Quit, I ended up using Panda. Because I feel comfortable as who I am, but I have a whole other side that's hidden inside of me. Because for me, I feel like both genders. I don't care how I look, but at the same time, I want to act who I am that I'm not on the outside. You know what I'm saying? And this video is pretty much explaining that I'm really opening up and I'm explaining, even if I don't, I don't even care if my mother sees this anymore. Instead of it being that I'm trying to hide it, I'm being physically and emotionally trying to explain that the more this is holding in, the more that I'm holding that side of me hidden, the more I'm going to get worried and that's a whole ass topic that I wanted to bring up because when I passed out it was because of last night due to no sleep then on top of that I had a dream that was really awkward that I would have never expected and it made me panic and then that made it worse on top of what I had from last night and knowing I can't talk about that what happened last night because it would make it completely awkward and stuff like that I just wanted to physically tell you guys what was going on this morning and ever since then I had a stream you guys may end up hearing a spam with Beat Saber for like two two um maybe three songs of spam because of copyright reasons And I did a um, Beat Saber test to see if I was okay because I wasn't feeling myself when I went live a few minutes ago. And I ended up doing a song that I'm really well at, either like getting like an S rank, an A rank or something. And I ended up getting a B rank with almost 100,000 points less than what I normally get on an average basis and finds out that I am not okay right now absolutely not okay this isn't a video to explain that I'm not gonna go live anymore or I'm not gonna do any more videos or anything not all that is not why I'm making this this is just to explain what's going on with me and the fact that I'm hiding a lot of stuff I'm hiding a lot more than I need to and it's pressuring more towards physical, mental, and emotional issues that I need to get off my chest. I explained the, the, the side of me numerous of times. I've explained so much through the video that I have as secrets, or I explained my biggest secrets almost a good three months ago, I believe. I don't know, but it was very recent wasn't even a year ago I don't even think it was half a year ago but I just I can't take any more BS I can't take any more issues I have really really need to start opening up to my parents more I really need to do stuff that will be accountable for myself because it is getting really bad. It's really making me emotional. And I feel really bad for it. I've been hiding this side of me for years. And I mean years. I've been even hiding somebody that's literally been talking to me forever. And I'm pretty certain my mother knows what's going on with that. I'm pretty damn certain, especially the fact that I almost talk to him every day. I just, I don't know. I'm really hoping my mother sees this so I don't have to explain too much. But either way guys, I might, once I'm calm, once I'm collective, I might make a part two just before I end up crying my eyes out. 
because now that I ventilated this out and I made it into a video, I'm actually quite happy. And I'm hoping you guys want to hear more about this. I do apologize, I really do, that I've been hiding so much in the fact that I do talk about too much drama, but this isn't more drama, this is more, I want to talk about this through a video so everybody knows out of all, like, whoever sees this kind of thing. And guys, if you really do want to actually hear me talk about some stuff, please push that like button. It really does help me understand that there the people who do see this want to see here more. I might more likely just tell you guys in like a DM or something if you have my Discord and stuff like that. Or I can talk about it into a video for the people who don't have my Discord so that both sides can hear it. You guys can hear it and see my emotions better. I don't know how it's going to work out, but guys, please, 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 uh, please understand this, okay? I'm more of the opposite of who I am right now, but physically I am who I am. So that's why I like being the name Panda because they are black and white. It is for the yin and yang. So I love using the name Panda to express who I am more than Rage. So for people who want to call me Rage, I would rather have Panda more than Rage. Rage was just my hidden name. And now that I have Panda, that's who I desperately am. And that's who I want to be. But more on the outside, if you want to call me that, but I'd rather have the Amanda side more because Panda is more of a nickname, but I don't really care in which name you want to call me. I really don't. But from here, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys hopefully, hopefully within the next two days, okay? I was really expecting to go live today, but after I did the test while I was live for 20 minutes, I just stopped it immediately. I didn't want to freaking embarrass myself. I didn't want to make myself worse, but I did attempt, and that's all I can ask for for myself. But from here on out right now, I'll be back hopefully in two days, maybe sometime soon. I definitely won't go on a hiatus. I'll probably explain to you guys next time I go on a hiatus. But I'll catch you guys hopefully soon, okay? And Ragers, out guys.